I am Lydia making this video testimony from Nanjie. On the 23rd of August, Pastor Jerry declared, he said, we shall not bury and we shall not be buried. You will not be buried. You will not be buried. We stop obituary. We stop obituary. We stop obituary. I key to that word. I said, it's for me and my household. On the 28th of August, I called my sister. Her daughter picked the call. She said, her mother is no longer breathing. I said, what happened? She said, she don't know. Where is she? She said, she have, they've taken her to the hospital. I quickly called her husband. And he picked. He said, they are in the hospital. As I was going, I went with my man too. When I got to the hospital, I was told that the first hospital rejected her. The second one did also the same thing. The third one that accepted her, the doctor said, she's gone, that she's no longer breathing, that she's dead. Confirmed dead. I said, what God cannot do those noises? I quickly put my mantle on her chest. So the doctor said, eh, Madam, what are you going to do now? She's no longer breathing. She's gone. I said, don't worry. She will come back to life. When I bought out my phone, I played, oh Lord, show me mercy. The second doctor came. He checked on her. I said, what, what are these people doing here? This woman is gone now. She's no longer breathing. I said, don't worry. What God cannot do those noises? The third doctor came. He said, all of you leave here. I quickly increased the volume of the prayer. I placed it beside my sister on the bed. And there was a man beside her. The man died. They, were, they, they quickly rolled the man to the mortuary, waiting for us to rule our sister to the mortuary. And I refused. I said, she will come back to life. Then I asked me to leave the place. We left. I and my, my other sisters, we left the world. So I was hearing Pastor Jerry declaring, declaring, praying. Talk to five minutes to Pastor Jerry. Hmm. My sister called my name. I quickly ran up. When I got there, I said, I'm here. I am here. So I was, just, I was ready to behave like a mad person. I'm here, sister, I am here. She said, what I heard was, Jesus, Jesus. I said, yes, indeed, what God cannot do is not exist. So the two doctors came in. They just called. She said, this woman, it's like she's reviving. They brought out oxygen to fix her. I said, no, 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 no don't fix her. My God will perfect it. God of Pastor Jerry is the will perfect it. Leave it, leave it, leave her, leave her. Don't put any oxygen. Leave it. No, no, you, you can't help God. Leave her. God will perfect it. I was using the uh, 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 the mantle to rub all part of her body. I'm just looking at her. She said, I want to use myself. I'm pressed. I want to use myself. Dr. Nana said, no, 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 no. She's not going to have that bed though. Let us fix cataract. Let us fix cataract. I said, no, don't worry. You cannot help God. What God cannot do does not exist. Dr. Nana said, what kind of thing is this? Which, what one is what God cannot do, I said, don't worry, you will not understand, you will understand later, don't worry. I helped her, she came down for the bed, she is herself, Pastor Jerry. I look at my back, the two daughters were just standing looking at him, the daughters were saying, ah. Later, I said, sister, do you know who is here? She called me by my name. I said, do you know who is here? He says, my husband. I said, do you know? My sister gained consciousness, she was okay like. The person that the doctor confirmed death came back to life, Pastor Jerry. The next morning, the doctor checked on her. He said, This man is okay. You can go home. We went home. In the evening, we came for checkup. When we came, the doctor said, What God cannot do, do, woman? Where are you? That was her name. What God cannot do does not exist in the hospital. They checked. They said, Don't worry, don't go for treatment again. You are okay. Since then, my sister has been so healthy. Like, nothing happened to her. I've come to return the glory to God. <laughs> I've come to thank her all who made it possible. I've come to glorify this God that sees me, a Roy that sees me. I said, may his name alone be praised in the name of Jesus. And I prayed for Pastor Jerry Eze. The oil in your head will never run dry.